Welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. This video is going to take you out for a walk on the beach and check out the seaweed situation. If you're heading down to Playa del Carmen in the next month, I've got good news. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Just for context, we have a map here. I've circled this section right here at the end of Avenue Constituente where I normally do my walk. Or I do a walk in this section right here in front of Park Las Fundadores. But today I'm going to do a walk right here, the Playa del Carmen Beach between 4th and 8th Ave. Let's go! Good morning from Playa del Carmen, Mexico. There's the famous heart at the end of 4th Ave. Little sign here about sargazzo, the sargasm, the seaweed. In my opinion, it's official. It is here. February 15th was my prediction, but it's just not my prediction. All the literature was pointing towards it. And I've been keeping you up to date on the last the 10 weeks now. It's over two months about the development of the seaweed situation here in Playa del Carmen. And it had been fairly good up until February 15th and it all just rolled in here. We've got the meeting of the minds here of the seaweed people. Looks like they're in charge, I think, of the 50 or so workers up and down the coast here and the beaches. And I will take my hat off to these workers. They have been doing an awesome job they're out at 6 a.m. They are working non-stop. They seem like it's pretty well run and systematic. Got the people on the ATVs going up and down the, the beach here. But there it is. The seaweed is here. It's official. You can see it all in the water. Like if it's just up on the beach and they can get rid of it. But now it seems like it's in the water in certain areas. I want to thank the people in the comments section the last few weeks. There's one person up in Playa Car that is saying that it, the beaches are great up there. So just because it's bad in this one area here does not mean it's bad in all the areas. Uh, north and south of Playa, Playa del Carmen here. Because there are some beaches that people are going to say it looks really good. Well, most of those people's reporting that it's really good the P these guys are getting out here early in the morning and they're cleaning it up. Now, if you were staying in one of these hotels along here, you might get up at 11 a.m., come out to the beach and you go, hey, beach looks good. And that's because they've been working away here since six in the morning to pick it up. So hats off to Playa del Carmen, the 50 or so workers up and down the beaches here, making sure that for the tourists, when they get up and they get out here on these Lawn chairs to the left, you can see them, that it's, it looks like a clean beach. They are still, in my opinion, managing the seaweed, which leads me to the point that I said in my intro that there was some good news. What I've heard from the reporting, and there's a whack of new seaweed right there. It's, it's new, it's coming in, they're managing it. The new and the good news is they're saying there will not be any increase in the seaweed coming in. Now what happened last year, February 15th, it started and by probably March 15th, it was out of hand. They, they could no longer manage it. It was huge on the beach and it was all in the water. And the new report now is that there will be no uptick in the seaweed amount coming in. So what it seems like it's gonna come down to is that if it's the same amount of seaweed as we've been getting for the last five days and the workers can manage it, and if people are coming out at 11 or one in the afternoon and heading to the beach and, and not really noticing that there's a lot of seaweed because these workers are managing it so well, getting it off, 
the, the beach. They've got these new machines that are coming in that are picking it up. And then there's no uptick in the influx of the seaweed in the next month, they're saying, until April 1st. Literature is predicting that until April 1st, it'll be like this, maybe a little bit less, but it's gonna be better than normal from, what is this, late February until April 1st. So if you're heading down here and you're watching this video and you think you're gonna be here before April 1st, they're predicting it's gonna be better than last year and it's not really gonna get, get any worse than it is right now, which I would say is good news because you can still get in and swim. This area right here between 4th and 8th has been problematic in the past because of alleged sewage and or seaweed. So I think if you're coming down here, you can probably pick a beach, whether it be a little bit farther north by uh, Avenue Constituente, or you go a little bit farther south down to the ferry dock because they can get all the big machinery in there to pick it all up. Some of this is red algae and some of this is sargazos seaweed. But when you put them together and that red algae, it is toxic. But they have been really good, like I said, at getting this stuff off the beach and cleaning it up so that if you're coming out here at 11 to 1 to enjoy the beach, it should be good until April 1st. Is the literature and the media just saying that because they know spring break is upon us? And there's a number of people right now sitting on their computer saying, should I book it? Should I book it? But when I see this right here, like that, look at those flies. There's just thousands of them. I got eaten alive a week ago with this stuff. You can't walk on it. You can't come near it. Nobody's lying near it. But look at that water. It's black. And they don't know between 4th and 8th whether this is sewage runoff or if this is from the red algae or the seaweed. So if I was coming down here, I would not become come down between 4th and 8th because it's we don't know there's been arguments on Facebook whether this is sewage runoff or if this is actually from the seaweed and I don't I don't know enough to know the answer to that but all I'm saying is you're not going in there you will not go in there you get a mouthful of that stuff you're getting sick you don't want it all over your body you don't know what it is you don't want it in your eyes ears nose there's the Pelican Inn. I've heard really good reports about that. Not really good with the Wi-Fi, but it, it is a good place. Good bang for your buck sometimes. But look at the flies. This is the red algae. This is the seaweed. This is not good. So good news on the horizon. If they can manage this, it looks like it might be good till April 1st. So if you're thinking about booking, Maybe you can come down before April 1st and it won't be that bad. Just not to this between 4th and 8th. That's why I'm out here. Some people wanted me to come out and take a look between 4th and 8th. There's the update. I'll be back soon. Ciao for now. Thanks for coming along on the walk with me today.